Customer custom attributes and customer segments can each be very powerful on their own. But if you use them together, you can build really interesting and exciting solutions. By combining these two tools, you can create custom membership groups, apply discounts for groups of customers, or even create targeted marketing campaigns. In this video, we're going to walk through a scenario where a coffee shop wants to send its customers personalized emails based on their favorite drink. So let's dive in and I'll show you how. Before we get into any API calls, let's take a high level look at how you might send personalized emails based on custom attributes. First, you'll need to define a custom attribute in order to store the customer's favorite drink. Then you'll need to assign a favorite drink value for each of your customers. For our example, this can be something like drip coffee, latte, or espresso. Finally, you'll need to create a customer segment that is based on a specific kind of favorite drink. Once you have that segment, you can start to send emails tailored to the customers in that segment. Segments, also known as smart groups, are groups of customers based on specific criteria. What's special about segments is that if something changes about a customer and they no longer fit the specified criteria, they'll be automatically removed from the segment. You don't have to do anything. So now let's jump on into the API Explorer and see how we can implement this. Let's go into the Customer Custom Attributes API and then select the Create Customer Custom Attribute Definition endpoint. Now this custom attribute is going to be used to indicate a customer's favorite drink. So for the description, I'll put exactly that, customer's favorite drink. The key field is going to be what we use to reference this custom attribute in the future. I'll give it a value of favorite dash drink. Then for the name, you guessed it, favorite drink. Next, we have the schema. This is essentially going to be the type for your custom attribute. You can see there are a lot of different types to choose from, but in order to make this work with customer segments, we have to make this either a Boolean or custom. I'm going to make this custom and then I'll paste in an object here and open up the request so we can see what's going on. Okay, so the first thing we're doing in our schema definition is indicating that this is going to be a selection object, meaning we're going to select one value from a list of options. I'll set the max items to one so we can only select one option. Our options will be listed in an array and they will each be unique. Now we can list our options using the items field. For our example, I'll have a short list of drip coffee, latte, and espresso. Finally, I'll generate an item potency key and we can run this request. When we open up the response, you'll see towards the bottom that there's this enum array. These are IDs that correspond to the options we created. So this ID corresponds to drip coffee, this one to latte, and so on. It's important that we hold on to these IDs because these are what we're going to use when we assign a custom attribute value to one of our customers. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's jump over to the upsert customer custom attribute endpoint. We can select a customer by customer ID, and then we're going to use the same key we just defined, favorite dash drink. For the value, we'll first set the type to array, and then we'll create an array that includes one of the IDs that we generated before when we created our custom attribute definition. This one that I'm using here maps to latte. We can run this request and this customer is now assigned a favorite drink of latte. If you ever want to check a custom attribute for a specific customer, you can use the retrieve customer custom attribute endpoint. Just provide the customer ID and the key for the custom attribute. You can also set with definition to true to get back all of the relevant info in one response. Now that we have a customer with a custom attribute assigned, we can start to create segments for customers that like specific drinks. For our example, we're going to create a segment for customers whose favorite drink is a latte. One of the use cases for doing this is that you can send targeted marketing campaigns to specific segments. So when pumpkin spice latte season comes around, you can send an email to all of your customers who are most likely to be interested. Let me show you how. First, we're going to open up the seller dashboard and go into the customer directory. Our custom attribute isn't visible by default, so to make it visible, you have to go into settings, configure profiles, and then switch this toggle next to favorite drink. Now, when you come back to the directory and click on your customer, you can see they have their favorite drink indicated as latte. So let's go over here and create a group. We'll create a smart group, which is another name for a segment. Make this a custom smart group and choose favorite drink for your filter. We'll make this group for any customers that have a favorite drink of latte. 
Finally, we'll give it a name and create our group. Once you do that, you can see in your directory that your customer is included in this group. Now here's where segments get really powerful. Let's say our customer falls out of love with lattes and starts to prefer drip coffee instead. We can update this customer's favorite drink with the upsert customer custom attribute endpoint. This call works just like before when we originally assigned the customer a value of latte, except this time we're going to change the value we put here in our array. For this call, I'm going to provide the ID that maps to drip coffee. And with that, we can run the request. Now, here's the best part. If we go back into the seller dashboard and take a look at our segment, you'll see the customer is no longer included. They're automatically removed from the segment when their favorite drink changes. And of course, they'll also be automatically added back to the segment if their favorite drink ever changes back to latte. This is just one of the many ways that you can use these tools together to create really powerful experiences. But it doesn't stop here. You can start to add other tools as well, like connecting discounts to a specific segment or identifying customers by scanning a QR code. The options are endless. So start playing around with these tools and see where it takes you.